So our first guest tonight is a very funny person. It's always a pleasure to welcome her to my lair on November 27th. You can see her live at Caesars Palace in fabulous Las Vegas. Please say hello to Kathy Griffin. <laughs> because I was at the red carpet for burlesque across the street. Yeah. And I, I can't stop posing. I, I don't blame you for that. By the way, I'm going to have a hard time um, looking at your face because of the angle that you presented me with that particular dress. Well, here are my tits. <laughs> Enjoy them, Jimmy. I got a good shot at one of them. Enjoy them. There's one and there's the other. Yeah, I can only see the one. Can we wrap this up? <laughs> yeah, I'll wrap it because up. Because I just heard that Cher just arrived on the red carpet. Oh. So if you could talk fast, I could ditch you. I'll try to talk Cher. Cher. You oh love God. Cher. Maybe will it, if we talk about Cher, maybe that'll be... That might calm me down. Okay. Can you explain the whole Cher thing to me? Because I, I understand that Cher is talented. And don't, don't be afraid. I understand she's very wow. talented. Okay. I, I Let's think she's a good actress. Up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You know, or songs That's are... That's like saying, uh, why do I have to breathe oxygen when I could just shoot myself? <laughs> I mean, she's a reason to live. <laughs> you insensitive SOB. Have you always loved Cher? Of course. Right, I know yes. you do. Your friend, your Cher's I'm your friends, friend. I've been to her home. We've yeah. shot the breeze on her couch. Absolutely. Does but that tonight she's. It? No, well, no, because, you know, when I go to Cher's, it's a no makeup rule. It's sweatpants. We order in. But tonight she's super <laughs> Sherry. Yeah. You know, like, when are you, like, when are you super Jimmyist? You know what I mean? This is it. This oh, is come it. Come on, this can't be it. This is it. You Where know is that this is boa it. Where's your and your headdress? Oh. Oh, that stuff. Oh, I well. want you to be the Jimmyist you can be. <laughs> that's. That's not really the jimmiest I could be, but that's um, that's my other character no, that I I'm play on. I'm trying to hold my attention. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, now, what is there a male version of burlesque? Because, you know, the gays and I all are going to be... Yes. Oh. Is there a male version of burlesque? What yeah. is burlesque? I mean, what goes on? Is this a movie? I know I, that. Am I in America talking to <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to an alien. No, I'm not an um, alien. Okay, it's a slice of heaven, first of all. Mm -hmm. And it's the story of Cher, and here's why. It takes a legend to make a star. <laughs> and... Uh, that's is it right. really her? It's her story? No. Oh, oh, my God. I don't know what it there's is. There's more than football. More. There's more. <laughs> there's you... a bunch of guys with pig skin who rape their wives. <laughs> oh, oh come on. They're not, they're not married to I'm those just... women. <laughs> they're not wives. <laughs> That's like, you know, radio day's coming back. Yeah. All on. right, so um, I, as you said, I'm performing in really what is the house of Cher. Yeah. On, on, you know, you lived in Vegas, correct? I grew up there. For how long? Nine years. Okay. So I'm doing Thanksgiving Saturday, the Saturday after Thanksgiving at the Coliseum in Vegas. What kind of person is going to go to Vegas for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Well, Walk I spent nine, nine Thanksgiving in, in Vegas, and okay. it's a perfectly normal. I mean, a lot of people will go but to that. But what would it take for you to ditch the family uh -huh. and then say, I want to go see a lady with a lot of cleavage tell inappropriate jokes? I don't know. A change of sexuality? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at you and uh -huh. just picture Cher. <laughs> Hi, you look great. Hello, I Kathy. Love your <laughs> Is that how she talks? Yeah, she talks like the alien. The I aliens. love being moonstruck. I love you too in moonstruck. Oh, thank you. That's I... like our conversation. <laughs> Let's pretend you're the kid from Mask. You have red hair. I love her mask. <laughs> oh, your heart is cold uh, and your cold. veins are filled with ice. <laughs> I know, not. That's not true. I don't have anything against Cher. I just, I wish, honestly, you I... You don't get it. That's I, the thing. You exactly. don't get it. I don't there get it. There are people it. that get it mm, mm -hmm. and people that don't get it. And there are people that get it like crazy get it. You're one of them. Will Cher be at your concert in Las Vegas? Pro uh, not Vegas, but she may come to see me in L.A. Is, at the Universal get... Amphitheater, December yeah. 16th and 17th. When she comes, 
Are you terribly nervous when Cher when is there? When she comes, I put her in like this Cher booth. It's so <laughs> weird. It's like the Pope Mobile. And um, she's like, Kathy, I don't want to be seen. Just I won't be anonymous. And she looks like, you know, Cher. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to hide her. But I actually have made fun of her with knowing that she's in the Cher booth. Oh, you have? Yeah, she can take it. She's all right with She's it. been through everything. Oh, good. Think all about right. It. Well, I'm sure go. you read the biographies. Of course. Well, sure. Everyone and has. And saw the TV movies <laughs> and the biopics. Hey, happy birthday also. I don't, I'm sure, I don't know That's if you're right. all right with bringing I'm this up. You, right. Right. you have a very big birthday. I had, last week was the big 5-0, and I'm one of those people, I know, look at this figure. Can you believe it? <laughs> and the ass. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever wish you tapped that? Huh? Do you ever wish? I'm just wondering. I'm just curious. Do you are, do you ever wish that you tapped that? Oh well, I, I, it depends on what you mean by tapping. I am staring at your breasts right now. Uh, that's a start. Relentlessly. Um, all right. So so I, I'm one of those people that stretched my birthday into way too many events. How many how many events did you have? I had like four parties. Um, and one Four? was a yeah one was a surprise party here in LA and I really was surprised and that was great great and um, it was at my girlfriend Lara Spencer's house and my mom was there and um, well my mom um, you know she's great um, <laughs> I do have a photo of her passed out on the couch for real uh, yes and because she was sleeping. <laughs> Box of wine again? There's a box of wine. Yeah, yes, of yeah. So, yeah, my mom had a great time. And then I went to New York because I had a very unusual invitation. Do you guys know who Gloria Vanderbilt is? She's a society yeah. lady. Oh, yeah, I used to wear her jeans. You know, her jeans, of <laughs> yeah, course. Right. You know, there's museums oh, this and all that stuff. Oh, this is a picture of her. Right. And so I went to her book party. What about that birthday? Gloria Vanderbilt, Kathy Griffin, feminist icon Gloria Steinem. Oh, it's a double. It's Gloria. How about that? It's a tale to Gloria. Gloria. Yeah, That's really. That's right. Your book ended by Gloria's. That's right. And then who's in this picture? Well, is oh, Gl hi. What's up, Anderson Cooper? <laughs> and Gloria, Gloria and Vanderbilt is Anderson Cooper's mother. I know. Uh, I know. figured you knew, but oh, I didn't know if everybody knew. It I, all comes together so perfectly. It does it really? Yeah, because when I go to Gloria's, I like to try to find embarrassing things about Anderson. And one <laughs> is this little book that he wrote when he was a little kid called The Book of Me. Uh -huh. And I love to tease him about it because uh -huh. I'm like, oh, nice job. You wrote The Book of Me about yourself. Um, but, of course, he's sort of smart and perfect. But yeah. I will say that I tried to be a member of high society. Like, I thought I was like a Rockefeller or a DuPont or something. So I go to Gloria Vanderbilt's, and I'm like way overdressed, and it's memorable of the literati and all these, you know, Nobel laureates and stuff. I didn't know what they were talking about all night. For I real? lied. I lied for five hours. Did solid. you really? I swear to God, because they'd say, "Well, naturally, you know, the Canadian uh, movie review magazine of note," and I'd say, "I haven't missed it." <laughs> and then, and they'd say, "Of course, you've read the Burning Lampshade," and I'd say, "Every chapter, I couldn't put it down. It was so stressful." Uh -oh. And then finally, thank God, Gloria Vanderbilt, who I think is 88, turned to me, and you know how rich people have that, like Martha Stewart rich person's accent and so um, she turned to me in the middle of this very heady cerebral conversation and she said Kathy what is going on with the low hands now did oh. you bring her up to date yes. I am on 24 7 low hand watch now that she's out I have I, I gave her a low jack just for me so she's got like the government low jack uh -huh. and then she has the Kathy Griffin low jack Do you watch so. them all or just Lindsay? I watch the, I never met a low hand I didn't like. Really? They all deliver. Uh -huh. Although Lindsay's my favorite. I mean, I have to pick. You shouldn't pick a favorite with your kids. But um, she's probably being my favorite, especially just like walking out of the Betty Ford and doing a photo shoot and then walking back in. Yeah. That's got to be some good stuff for the live act. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, then uh, when Gloria Vanderbilt mentioned the low hands, I could fit in for one second. Sure, yeah. Well, then suddenly you're the expert. Well, that, I am the expert on that. I know I, you I are. I didn't win a Nobel Prize for it, but <laughs> honestly, I'm pretty up Give on it, it time, you will. I know. You also have a major motion picture coming out, and this yeah. is... Uh, I'm stretching myself, like Cher. Like I Cher. I want to be a triple threat. I don't blame you. I want to act, tell jokes, uh -huh. <laughs> and do movies. And follow the low hands, yeah. yeah. Well, this movie is... Uh, well, I, first of all, I want to thank you for bringing the, the trailer here. Yeah. It's not been seen before. This is no, a world premiere. No, it's very topical. It's very hot. It's very of-the-moment topic. Should we... Is there anything you'd like to say to set this up? Or I think we, it stands for itself. Here we go. This is Kathy's new movie. When does this come out? Tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh.
Justin, eat your cereal. Yo, Mom, I'm working on my song lyrics. You've been working on those for hours. Hey! It just says, baby, baby, baby. Exactly. How is she? It's not good. She's got, uh... Bieber fever. Justin, will you marry me? I can't marry you. I'm a star, and you're a peon. Stars and peons just don't mix. Look at Britney Spears and Kevin Federline. Paul McCartney and Heather Mills. Charlie Sheen and that lady he stabbed on Christmas. Go to sleep, little girl.